Are you one of those highly sensitive people that can't help but be nice to everyone? You have so many feelings and you can sense so much of the energy around you and with other people that you will do pretty much anything you can to help them whenever they're in need. You're just really a good-hearted, good person in general. Yet you've had a lifetime of not fitting in or feeling accepted by most of the world. Life has been a struggle full of unfair obstacles and things that have happened to you along your path. You feel you have a purpose deep down inside and you always have, yet it's been clouded by things like depression, anxiety, hopelessness, and and attempts of trying to cope with feelings such as not being good enough for this world. If this sounds like you, then I am so happy that you are here today. Hello and welcome. I'm Sarah Dawn and today's video is it's kind of like an intro video because recently I've been going through some really pretty intense emotional experiences. Um, you know, what I would call a dark night of the soul, where shadows are just constantly coming out to play, right? And I have learned so much in the process. So through it all, I've really been strongly guided to start doing more videos specifically related to those who have experienced the depression and anxiety and neurodiversities and addictions and such things as that. Videos about dealing with and managing things like depression and anxiety and how both of these are so often part of a spiritual experience. It's not an indication that something is wrong with you or that something needs to be fixed. No, these experiences in our physical lives indicate that we are actually very powerful spiritual beings. What we're lacking is just an understanding of ourselves or of our purpose. It's part of our spiritual growth process to reach higher levels of ascension, higher levels of enlightenment, and even higher vibrations. It's basically a blessing in disguise. And I think that's why I've been going through such an intense episode of depression lately, because it was like the universe just sent me through all of these experiences so I could not only remember the importance of all of this for us in our lives, but also how hard it can be to deal with them when we don't really know the spiritual truths that we need to have. But I also have an even greater understanding of why these experiences of apparent suffering and all of these challenges happen in the first place. It's not like anything we've been told and conditioned to believe. And I'm not going to make these videos just for people who choose and want to see only the positive side of spirituality, the uplifting and positive side, which is generally the trend out there when it comes to spirituality, because as beautiful and as wonderful as that is, and as helpful as it is so much of the time, if you're not facing the truth of who you are, if you're not looking at the burdens that you carry and the pain and the wounds that life has inflicted upon you, then you're missing out on, on the most powerful, profound, and miraculous aspects of being a spiritual being. The fact is, this journey is not easy, and it's not meant to be easy. I mean, what are you going to learn, and how are you going to grow if everything is just handed to you on a platter, if everything is just comes to you easily? You're not going to learn anything because it's just coming to you. And this journey, our spiritual journey, our mission in this life is based in growth, growing as a spiritual being, learning, and it takes work, it takes dedication, and it takes facing the reality that is you and that is your life here in this incarnation that you're in. We can most certainly move away from a fear-based egocentric life and move towards expanded consciousness and into a vibration of love and joy, but we're not going to get there and we're not going to live up to our potential or to our purpose by just trying to be overly positive all the time. And let's face it, fake. 
life is not like that and neither is the spiritual journey. So these videos that I'm going to do from now on, these videos are for real people with real problems that have real experiences to help them find their purpose and find their joy and live life to the fullest, the way that they're meant to, the way that they deserve, the way that you deserve. So if you're new to the concept of how spirituality and metaphysical principles and techniques like the law of attraction can help you heal and recover and even grow from depression, you might be interested in my book. This book here, The Depression Warriors, book one from pacifist to warrior. And this book is written for those who have dealt with depression for a really long time really significant chronic depression for a while and they're interested in how you can use your spirituality to set you on a path of healing and growth. So who am I talking about? Who are these videos really for? You might be wondering if this is going to apply to you. So first of all, you're an extremely compassionate and kind person. You have a big Hurt, and it's probably been trampled on hundreds of times throughout your life. You have been used, you have been betrayed, you've been through it all, yet you still go on. You still shed your kindness and your love onto the world as if you have this light inside of you that can't be put out no matter how much you try to hide. No matter how much you run from it, no matter how much you resist it, and no matter how many times other people try to put it out for you, it just doesn't go anywhere. You are also highly drawn to things like angels and fairies and universal truths and just spirituality as a whole. But your life has been full of some pretty extreme struggles and challenges including feeling apart or different or unaccepted by the rest of the world. You've had mental illnesses or neurodiversities or struggles that have set you apart from everyone else and made you feel like some kind of a weirdo or an imposter or it just even made you feel unlovable. And it's led you down a path of depression, of dealing with extreme anxiety or any kind of what the world calls a mental illness, right? Or or any kind of negative coping skills. You know, maybe you fell down the pit of despair like I did, and maybe you began coping with drugs like I did as well, or alcohol or overeating, making you feel like even more of an outsider and even more misunderstood. But now you're feeling your truth. Your soul is calling to you and you're listening. And I know you are. I know this is happening. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be here in the first place. And you certainly would not still be watching this video to this point. Am I right? You know what I'm talking about. Why would you be here if this wasn't something that applied to you on some level? So all of this is happening due to your spiritual life purpose. Your soul is on a mission and it's calling to you. This is a common experience for light workers, especially right now for light workers that are on a special mission, such as earth angels and star seeds. And if you're not sure if you are an earth angel, you can also check the description down below for a link over to my blog where I have a quiz and some articles about how to tell if you're an earth angel. As light workers on these special missions, you know, we go through so many struggles and challenges in our lives because they enable us to learn and grow into the highly evolved spiritual beings that we're meant to be. It is the missions our souls came here into this life to accomplish, but it often results in, in a lot of pain, a lot of hurt and feelings of depression and anxiety, feelings of being worthless, oppressed, or not fitting in, like I said before, and helpless to do anything about it, and hopeless that there will ever be something better for you. And if this is you, I have some really good news for you. There is a lot you can learn and, and do to change those feelings, to feel more like yourself, more true to yourself, and just fit in, find your place in this world, to learn to love and accept yourself for the, the perfect, miraculous, divine being that you are. 
And what's more, you were made to do it. You are meant for this. You are a divine being with a divine calling. And that is what will set you free from the despair that you have experienced. And it will send you into a much more fulfilling life. So right now, our world is changing and it is shifting. The earth is ascending and preparing to move into what is called the fifth dimension. We're going from this very dense physical 3D world and the earth is ascending into a more spiritual 5D world with expanded consciousness that operates more on a soul level. And if you're a highly sensitive spiritual being, you've been feeling this shift in energy probably very intensely for a while now because it is calling for you to get on board. It is like the mothership calling you home. It is time to work. You know, especially since April of this year, 2024, the shift really started to begin with the solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde was in Aries. There was all kinds of stuff going on in April. And spiritual beings, especially the archangels and the star seeds, you know, those who are here to help with the ascension are being called to work on themselves now. You're being called now to do this work so that you're ready to help others when the time comes. And that means you're probably experiencing some odd things recently, especially since April. And you may notice that they're getting more frequent and more intense recently as well. I'm talking about feelings like you just kind of feel off, like depersonalization types of feelings like you're awake in a dream type of feeling, sort of separate from things. And Things just feel different. You may feel uncertain and confused at times. And you are definitely likely to notice increased feelings of depression and anxiety in what feels like the past coming back to haunt you. And there's a reason all of this is happening. And there's a lot of work for you to do. So in future videos, I'm going to talk more about all of that. I'm going to talk about this ascension that the earth is currently going through and how you can begin living within that consciousness now and living according to your mission to help the earth and other people eventually get through all of this. But since the process of getting there is often, well, of any kind of spiritual awakening or enlightenment, any of the big ones, they begin with a dark night of the soul. And if you don't know what that is, it's depression, it's anxiety, it's confusion, it's a lot of shadows, a lot of the parts of ourselves that we don't really want to look at, that we're hiding from ourselves, they're being revealed to us. It's being shown to us because now is the time to face it and start letting that go. So I'm going to talk about managing and getting through all of that in the fastest, easiest, and most effective way possible. You know, so you can accept and be your true self and move according to your purpose. I'm not saying that I have all the answers. I still have a lot of learning and a lot of growing, and I realize more than ever that I still have a very long way to go. But what I have discovered in my own process of healing and my own process of ascending and also of having depression and of growing up in this world as an earth angel with undiagnosed neurodiversities and with the betrayal and abuse of so many loved ones in my life and losses that I really honestly thought there was no possible way I could get through it. And also with my experiences of being a therapist and all of the years of learning about psychology and neurobiology and all of that kind of stuff. I just have so much stuff to share with you, but I'm not done with my growth. I'm not done with my learning. I still experience way too much self-doubt and and I live in fear way too often with my ego in control. So ultimately, this is a journey that I am going on and I am just inviting you to come along with me. So join me on this journey where I will share with you everything I can to make it a bit easier for all of us by subscribing for future videos or come join me over on Facebook and Instagram. I don't post a ton of stuff over there, but I really try to put quality stuff that 
that will be helpful whenever I can. And that includes daily angel messages to help you along your path. If you are interested in things like angel numbers and interested in connecting deeply with the angels, especially through the use of angel numbers, uh, to help with all of this ascension and growth and these dark nights and the shadow work, be sure to check out my other books that Angel Numbers Mastery and A Magical Course in Angel Numbers. You'll find links to these books along with everything else, like I said, down in the description below. And as always, I am sending a ton of love and blessings to you all. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. You are absolutely amazing and I appreciate you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.